Can hydrogen meet the energy demands on remote, isolated territories? That's the question European researchers are trying to answer from one of those such constrained lands, here in Orkney Islands, United Kingdom. Around 300 people live at Shappensea, one of the 20 inhabited islands in Orkney. This is its main power station. The turbine feeds the electrolyzer where water is split to obtain hydrogen. This facility was designed to produce up to 400 kilos of hydrogen per day. We take the hydrogen at um, 20 bar pressure. Um, that's stored in a storage tank and then it's compressed uh, up to 200 bars for use in several applications around Orkney. Among those applications, hydrogen will soon be used for heating classes at the nearby local school, attended by 25 students who are 12 and under. That is essentially taken in an underground pipe from this storage. It runs underground and up into the boiler house and um, where it's fed into the boilers. Um, and then they use that hydrogen to create heat. Um, that then is used to, um, that goes through some heaters, it's put into the school. They've got three heaters in the classrooms um, and that just keeps them nice and warm. Part of the gas is transported to the archipelago's main island for other uses. Five cars from the local council have been fitted with hydrogen fuel cells. Refueling takes between three and five minutes. The whole system works at a high pressure, so it needs a safe, resilient infrastructure. The hydrogen gas has got different properties from petrol or diesel that you might be used to filling your vehicle with. So the gas will tend to go up instead of down. Um, we have kind of got anti-static measures as well because hydrogen doesn't like uh, ignition sources. We're lucky here, it's quite open. Uh, that's what you really want in your system design for hydrogen. The concrete we're standing on now is anti-static and you might see as well that we have fireproof um, blast walls um, around the hydrogen storage as well. The next step is to use hydrogen to fuel the ferries linking to the archipelago's islands. Hydrogen is stocked in 59 aluminium containers that feed a fuel cell system able to produce up to 75 kilowatts of power aimed for ferry transportation. It converts the hydrogen with the ambient air, it takes the oxygen from the ambient air to produce electricity. We then have 40 um, battery packs here which uh, the electricity runs through and then we supply the electricity to the ferries. These infrastructures are part of a European research project in close cooperation with local communities. Its goal is to use hydrogen to curb fossil fuel dependency in isolated places. Using that power that's very local, um, that's going to be cheaper in the long run. Uh, instead of exp importing energies or fuels from far away, um, socially it's a good thing to be reducing just the carbon footprint of the entire landscape uh, right across domestic and industrial use. Scientists here say in 10 years' time, Orkney's 22,000 inhabitants could rely almost exclusively on green forms of energy, including hydrogen.